Hi guys, how are you doing? For me here, I'm more than good and I thank God. You know, it has been a nice day here, though the rain is too much. But anyway, it is what it is. Like at the moment, it was raining some few minutes ago. So as you can see, this is not my farm. You can see at the back of me, there is a, some maize. But uh, there is a certain boundary. This is my dad's farm. So when you go down a bit, it is my farm, you know, which is near my home. So I came here to confirm if my maize are okay because uh, the rain uh, was accompanied by the wind. So guys, otherwise, I hope you are doing well. So, I know most of you, you managed to see the video that I did last time with the turtle. At my place, we call it a tortoise. I got it from my farm. So, if uh, you didn't watch the video, you can go back and watch uh, the video so that you can understand well on what I'm talking about. So, the reason why I posted the video was to look for advice from you you know and uh, most of you let me say bigger percent percentage they were proposing that uh, i should uh, let the tortoise go you know instead of taking it tomorrow the reason why i came up with the idea of taking it to marwa is that uh, marwa has two of them and he has a uh, a place designed for them so I felt, according to me, I felt that it could be good some, somehow when uh, we could add that one and uh, they be three. But otherwise, let me say thank you for your good advice. You know, thank you so much for your comment. I read your comment. And if, guys, if not otherwise, I could uh, take one of the best comments. You know, there is one person, okay, I said that most people, they were saying that I should let it go. But there is a, one person who said, I should let it go, but find a place where there is a, some rotten woods. And then I keep it there because they use uh, rotten uh, woods as their food. So instead of me letting it going uh, by itself, I could... Uh, find a place like that and then I, I place it here so that it can uh, get the food easily maybe the place that it was initially it was struggling for food you know that one was what I could do but uh, accidentally you know accidentally you know after the video later in the day after I'm done with my chores I decided to construct a, just a simple house, a simple and small house for it, as I was waiting uh, for your advice, you know, for me, for me to come up with what to do. So I placed it there and then uh, I made a simple door, you know, not perfect, and I pressed it inside there. So the following day, I went, I went to, I went there to have a check, guys. You know, unfortunately, there was no tortoise. You know, so it seems like, according to my own understanding, it seems like it escaped. Because I can't say that someone took it, or maybe my dad, or maybe my brothers, they found it. Because the place alone I chose to, to build that house, is it can't be easily accessible. So, and uh, that door... It was uh, the door that I made for uh, the, uh, to that house. It was uh, like uh, pushed somehow, you know. So it's like it got out and then it went, guys. You oh, know, I was so disappointed. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. I have to understand. Maybe God has not uh, planned for me to own it or maybe for me to let it go by myself or maybe for me to do what I could do at that time guys but uh let me hope that uh wherever it is at the moment it is safe you know 
it's getting enough food you know and that's all and let me pray as well that uh, wherever it is someone will not find it because uh, in that video i told you the kind of belief we have in our place here or about some animals animal like a uh, tortoise and all i think i you know the all and we have the big big cats you know the big one and we have some wild one at my place at my village there are some uh, wild uh, cats and then there is a uh, one type of bird I don't really know the name but at the neck here it's a uh, it has a, a white color and the rest of the body is black in Swahili which is a uh, my language we call it kunguru yeah that's the name of that bird but in English I don't remember so those are some animal which are uh, our village or maybe our community we have a different uh, beliefs about them we, we relate them with uh, things to do with witches. But for me, I don't agree with them because there is no way you can uh, start uh, having a, a negative beliefs to an innocent animal, you know. But I realize that uh, in big cities, uh, animals like cats, dogs, and others, and uh, maybe tortoise, you have them as uh, your pets. But here, maybe if you can find someone who has a dog, maybe for security purpose. Otherwise, no. And you can't easily find someone giving that uh, cooking for a dog. You know, I've been watching the video, the video, especially from abroad, and I've been seeing you can serve the animal or maybe that dog or maybe your pet with the fresh food. Now here, since that dog is used maybe for security, the food that you eat, the one that remain, you can now give it, you know. Another thing that I can say about is uh, how you treat them, you know. Like a few hours ago when it was raining, I was watching a video, a certain uh, man taking a... Uh, his cat to the hospital. Surely, guys. <laughs> Here, no. Actually, it's a big no. And we don't stay with animals. For the animals, they can stay outside. And for us people, we stay inside the house. But anyway, the world is different. You know. So, I have to understand. You know. So, I know most of you, you are busy waiting what... Which decision I will take towards that innocent tortoise? So maybe God had planned that it will go, you know. Or maybe if it could stay there, someone can could uh, find it and then uh, harm it, guys. So I thank God that it went, and um, I'm saying a nicer life to our lovely toys you know and next time when i'll uh, find it you know next time when i find it uh beware my farm or maybe somewhere somewhere else i just leave it there because there is a uh, one person uh, i think uh, she was from namibia she told me that uh, at their place they believe whenever they see a daughter is somewhere they believe that such kind of animal it brings lucky like you know it it is lucky you know so like when it was at my farm it could make me to have a good harvest but i'm not sure of that but if that's the kind of belief it's okay you know otherwise i'll uh, i'll have to end uh, my video there let me say bye and thank you for watching in case if uh, you are new viewer kindly consider subscription and if you are a returning subscriber let me say thank you so much for coming back to watch my amazing video otherwise let me say bye and i shall see you next time
Ongeze, ongeraya 